my dear students and viewers assalamu alaikum welcome once again to my online class and you know i am murshid imam assistant professor department of english government shohit sohrawardi college dhaka today i will continue a class for the students of ma final year department of english on the topic hamlet by william shakespeare my dear students in our previous class we discussed the life and works of william shakespeare and uh, we learned uh, also about tragedy and shakespearean tragedy and today my dear students i will focus on hamlet that is introduction to hamlet my dear students got ready to do the class my dear students uh, it is thought that the play hamlet was written between 1598 and 1602 considering the external and internal evidences and if i want to say about the source of the play hamlet uh, that is for uh, his plot of hamlet shakespeare is indebted to the two writers named saxo grammaticus a danish writer and belfors belforest a french writer and shakespeare got most of his ideas for hamlet from saxo and has reproduced it in his play now i want to talk about the duration of the action of the play hamlet okay uh, shakespeare is at his best in observing the unities only in the tempest and the comedy of errors Uh, though uh, he has observed the unity of action in Hamlet, he is least uh, bothered about the unity of time. However, uh, he should be praised for his artistic handling of two parallel time schedules, uh, that is one real and the other dramatic. And the action is supposed to take place in uh, seven days, but critics uh, differ from the space of a week to the extent of two months. now i want to talk about uh, the characters of the play hamlet uh, my dear students you know shakespeare's uh, plots have their roots in his characters that is there is a dramatic harmony between persons and events and thus things happen as they do because the characters are what they are i am repeating the sentence there is a dramatic harmony between persons and events and thus things happen as they do because the characters are what they are and uh, how may the characters be analyzed my dear students uh, there are four ways okay number 1 human beings reveal themselves by what they say by their manner of saying it and often enough by their silence or failure to say anything under given circumstances number 2 we can learn about people too by their actions by their actions and even by their failure to act on occasions and number 3 we know them also from what others say about them in statements and number 4 they are revealed to us finally by the device of contrasting them with others and uh, in all of shakespeare's four great tragedies hamlet macbeth king lear and othello the dramatist continually surprises his audience with uh, the complexity of his character portrayals the personality and temperament of hamlet for example has probably generated more critical debate than any other single figure in english literature and this is almost equally true of the Uh, other three heroes the nature of macbeth's ambitions the problem of lear's state of mind the riddle of othello's jealousy all provide never ending sources of interest and discussion now i want to introduce you with the major characters and uh, also with the minor characters of the play hamlet at first major characters hamlet you know he is the protagonist of the play and he is a tragic hero 
that is uh, he is the prince of Denmark in the play he is the prince of Denmark then Claudius he is also a major character in the play Claudius uh, is uh, king of Denmark and Hamlet's uncle king of Denmark and Hamlet's uncle and he also married uh, Hamlet's mother after killing his father then uh, Polonius Polonius who is Polonius his counselor of state and he is the right hand of Claudius and he is also father of Ophelia the beloved of Hamlet then comes the name of Horatio Horatio he is the only friend of Hamlet who remains loyal to the prince uh, so he is friend of Hamlet and confident of Hamlet then the ghost the character of the ghosts are also very the characters of the ghosts are also very important uh, because they represent the supernatural element and create an atmosphere of horror and mystery in the play Hamlet then Gertrude is she is one of the major characters in the play Gertrude is Hamlet's mother and uh, she becomes uh, and she is also the queen of Denmark and the mother of Prince Hamlet and uh, she uh, becomes the wife of Claudius then Laertes Laertes is, uh, is the son of Polonius and brother of Ophelia he is also a major character in the play Hamlet then Ophelia she is the daughter of Polonius and sister of Laertes. And uh, Ophelia's beauty is commented upon by several characters. She is uh, a symbol of beauty. Okay, and uh, so it made. She possesses more of the qualities of heart than of the head. And she is the beloved of Hamlet. That's all about the major characters of the play Hamlet. Now I will tell you um, um, I will tell you about the minor characters of the play. Rosen Carnes, courtier and former school fellow of Hamlet. Gildan Strand, courtier and former school fellow of Hamlet. Fortin Brass, Fortin Brass, Prince of Norway. Voltemont, Danish counselor, ambassador to Norway, Cornelius, Marcellus, Bar Bernardo, uh, then Francisco, Bernardo and Francisco, they are the member of uh, members of the King's Guard, then Osric, a popish courtier, uh, Renaldo, players, the gentleman of the court, uh, then uh, a priest, the grave diggers, all those characters are minor characters in the play. Hamlet though they are minor characters in the play uh, they play a very important role uh, in the play Hamlet we will discuss it after completing our text now my dear students uh, as the story of Hamlet is uh, well known to all uh, as it's a popular uh, play uh, I think all of you know the story of the uh, play Hamlet. Uh, so I want to uh, give you some important questions from this play at first. And then we will go through the text. Write down some important questions on the topic Hamlet. Please get ready with your pen and sheet and write down the co important questions on the topic Hamlet okay question number one write on the atmosphere in and around the 
court in Hamlet. I am repeating the question. Question number one. Write on the atmosphere in and around the court in Hamlet. Then question number two. Discuss why Hamlet may not be considered a conventional revenge tragedy. I am repeating the question. Question number two. Discuss why Hamlet may not be considered a conventional revenge tragedy. Question number three. Write critically on Shakespeare's treatment of the ghost in Hamlet. Write critically on Shakespeare's treatment of the ghost in Hamlet. Question number four. Identify the reasons for Hamlet's delay in taking revenge. Question number four. Identify the reasons for Hamlet's delay in taking revenge. Question number five. Write critically on Hamlet's relationship with his mother and Ophelia. Question number five. Write critically on Hamlet's relationship with his mother and Ophelia. Then question number six. Discuss the role of women in Hamlet. Question number six. Discuss the role of women in Hamlet. Then question number seven. Discuss in detail the nature and importance of soliloquies in Hamlet. Discuss in detail the nature and importance of soliloquies in Hamlet. Then go to question number eight. Is Hamlet's madness real or faint? Write an essay on the madness theme in Hamlet. Question number eight. Is Hamlet's madness real or faint? Write an essay on the madness theme in Hamlet. Then go to question number nine. What is the dramatic significance of the play within the play in Hamlet? What is the dramatic significance of the play within the play in Hamlet? I am repeating the question. What is the dramatic significance of the play hyphen within the play? Okay, the play hyphen within the play. The play hyphen within the play in Hamlet. Then question number 10. What is responsible for the tragedy of Hamlet? Character or fate? Discuss. What is responsible for the tragedy of Hamlet? Character or fate? Discuss. And you may be asked that is examine Hamlet as a tragic hero. Okay, examine Hamlet as a tragic hero. My dear students, that's all about uh, some important questions on this topic that is on the play Hamlet. My dear students, now I will focus on the opening scene or the very beginning scene of the play Hamlet. That is the significance of the opening scene. Okay. The significance on the, the significance of the opening scene of the play Hamlet. That is, you know, Shakespeare's opening scenes are always masterly in effect. The opening scene strikes the keynote of the play. And it prepares the audience and arouses interest in the audience as well as creates the desired atmosphere before introducing the major characters. And Shakespeare has conveyed uh, the atmosphere of gloom, mystery and unrest in the country. Neither the king nor the ghost is at peace. And the opening scene uh, provides the audience with a number of facts. That is the unexpected death of the king. Uh, Hamlet has not succeeded his father. A danger of an attack from Norway. Thus Shakespeare catches the attention of the audience and prepares them for the incidents to follow. Indeed he has successfully overcome the initial difficulty of every dramatist. If I want to summarize the uh, story that is the action of act 1 of 6 1 uh, in brief that is the uh, we you will see that uh, in uh, act 1 uh, scene 1 hamlet the young prince of denmark comes to denmark from the university of, at wittenberg on account of his father's death and on his arrival he finds his mother has married his uncle claudius the present king 
whom he hates. Hamlet agrees to stay in Elsinore. Lartus, who has come to take part in the king's coronation, leaves for France. And Hamlet's bitterness at his mother's hasty marriage has no limits when the ghost, ghost of his father appears and reveals to him the truth about his death. He has died not by snake bite but by the poison of Claudius. The ghost requests him to avenge the murder and to keep everything a secret until the time is ripe. He along with his friends swears silence and Hamlet conceives his scheme of feigning madness. So uh, you see the very first act prepares the hero Hamlet for the impending tragedy that is unmotivatedly uh, he comes down to his hometown to attend the funeral of his father where he is endowed with the Herculean task of avenging his father's death. The gradual development of a well constructed plot is seen at the end of this act where we are not told the nature of Hamlet's father's revelation. This suspense arouses a curiosity in the reader's mind um, to probe into his character. Here itself Shakespeare gives a detailed description of the prevailing condition in Denmark, chaos and disorder and the true nature of the people that one may smile and smile and be a villain only to intensify the tragedy in the succeeding acts. Actually the first scene of the play reveals uh, our attention through the ghost of King Hamlet which links past, present and future action to prepare us for the rest of the play. It introduces us to Horatio and by deport to young Fortin Brass. The opening challenge, who is there, sounds the key themes of identity, disturbed order and the questioning of appearance and reality. Darkness in the daylight of the theatre is created by the words with the fear that a nameless something is about to happen. But the septic Horatio in prodding with Marcellus relaxes the jerky dialogue into regular blank bars. To surprise us by the apparition uh, uh, we expect, Shakespeare redirects our attention to the guards telling uh, us more but not too much of the mystery. This thing and this apparition do not define what it was. Uh, we settle down with the actors to hear a long account from Bernardo. Yet the time is now, the hour he says, the ghost came. His unfinished sentence is theoretically, theoretically completed by the ghost. And you know the ghost is a riveting visual device to raise central issues. Uh, yet uh, some directors not trusting their audience's suspension of disbelief banish the ghost from the stage to Hamlet's mind. But to define it is it as hallucination. Uh, Catholic, Protestant or devil is to deny its chief purpose uh, in the play to be a questionable shape. Its powerful silence both rebukes uh, our wish to pluck out the heart of its mystery and stimulates disturbing questions about life's meaning. Both its silence and unconventional conventional stays, costume of full armor would have commanded attention from an Elizabethan audience and at, as the scene closes uh, that is act one scene one we see that uh, the bright homely sound of the cock gets the disturbing ghost of a stage distorts a sense of normal daily life and indicates to the audience by dramatic shorthand that several hours of darkness have passed in a few minutes of daylight playing time it signals the poetic coda in which Horatio and Marcellus sit the supernatural visitor in a wider, remoter context of folklore and Christian tradition, contrasting in a style and mood with the rest of the scene. For the first time we hear from Horatio of young Hamlet, this spirit, dumb to us, will speak to him. So at last we will learn the ghost's message. What we wonder is young Hamlet's relationship to the dead and living kings.
so my dear students that's all about uh, the significance of the opening scene or beginning scene of the play hamlet by shakespeare then uh, number today my dear students in our next class we will uh, start uh, from we will start reading from act 1 scene 2 at uh, please uh, read the text uh, yourself at home my dear students you will complete reading act 1 okay all the scenes of act 1 will complete uh, reading at home okay it's your homework my dear students and uh, the questions which uh, uh, i uh, have given you today now hope all of you will uh, try to uh, write down it uh, at home okay and uh, especially uh, the question number 1 okay the question number one what was the question my dear students can you remember yes and uh, that is right uh, on the atmosphere in and around the in and around the court in hamlet you may try to write down the answer of this question by yourself okay and uh, you will also try to write down about the major characters and minor characters of the play hamlet and we will make short notes on uh, each and every character okay that is write a short note on gertrude write a short note on uh, claudius write a short note on ophelia in this way you will make short notes on uh, all of the characters that is the especially the major characters and also about uh, uh, also on, on the minor characters of the play hamlet okay so your homework write down or write short notes on each and every character of the play hamlet i am repeating the uh, uh, sentence once again my dear students i am repeating it that is uh, write short notes on each and every character of the play hamlet by shakespeare it's your homework today hope all of you will do your homework my dear students no more today see you again in our next class till then be happy and be healthy goodbye allah hafiz